Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. In the previous episode we did a side quest, we unlocked a map dude guy thing, uh, we spent a little bit of our light energy, we fought a bunch of enemies which are a lot more challenging in this game than uh, the previous game, especially since like we only have this light sword ability. I'm trying to get up here, I'm dead, what a way to start off today. Okay, now we're just gonna run past here. Um, yeah, we did a few things. We we lose, learned some new abilities. We actually learned a lot of abilities, I think, in the last episode. So now today, uh, we're just gonna continue on moving forward and see where the game takes us. Uh, I am currently trying to make it back to the beginning area, I believe. All right, so to give you an idea of where we are on the map, uh, we came from over here. Yeah, we're trying to get up to this section up here, so I think we might be able to go to the right up here. We might actually be able to go to the left too. We haven't been over here for a little bit. Yeah, we can break through this part now. We saw that early on, but I thought we needed a torch to get through it. Little did I know we were gonna be getting a new fancy sword ability. Ooh, what's this? Resilience, reduced damage taken. You know, maybe instead of uh, reckless, <laughs> we, we put that one on. Also, where are these levels? What's this mean? Like, do I get more over time? Can I upgrade them? I am a little confused at what that means. Uh, why do we have the quest item still? I gave him the howl. I gave him the fang. I guess we'll worry about that later because we still don't know what the ore is used for. We might find out today. Okay, let's climb up here since we can now. Yeah, we haven't been this way yet. So this is probably the new direction that we need to go. Let me in. Oh, oh, hello. It's the sage from Jack and Daxter. <laughs> Come to see the view? Splendid, isn't it? The wellspring in all her magnificence. A whole generation of Moki have come and gone since the old mill's wheels last turned. What? It's an ancient place. Oh, geez, I missed what he said. I wasn't reading. Oh, that's scary. Wait a minute. Is that Kuru? What's Shriek doing all the way out here, Shriek? <laughs> uh, something must be, have stirred her from her roost. Some threat, perhaps? Not you, surely. You look harmless. We could fix that. Lucky for you, I happen to be a weapon master. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you interested in honing your skills? I can offer a deal for your first purchase only. So choose wisely. Uh, yes? Ah, what? Okay, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, what? We have enough spirit light for all these. Sentry. Use energy to spawn a spirit orb that attacks for you. Okay, so it's like a little sentry gun. Um, throw a star that returns to you, a little throwing star, okay. That'd be like a ranged attack, I guess. Set nearby enemies on fire, that would just be, I guess, in general. Throw a powerful spear of light. Uses a large amount of energy to destroy unstable ground. Oh, I mean, I mean, if it destroys the ground, this one seems like the one to go for, right? What was the last one? Uh, pound foes with a strong, deep, sweeping blow. Okay, so this one or this one? This one uses energy. This one doesn't use energy. So I'm going to say we go with that one so we can break through the other sections that we haven't... Um, <sighs> seen yet and i think that will uh be more beneficial overall anyway uh, make the most of your new skill the next won't come so cheaply if you care to put your skills to the test there's a spirit shrine nearby but wait that was a cheap price though like 400's cheap how much should they cost normally it better be like 500 it better not be like a thousand uh just a place for you to prove your mid middle mid i've never seen that word before in my life um, anyway, our paths will cross again. Till then, keep your blade at the ready and an eye on the sky. Okay, so we'll see you at some other point. Oh, oh, that's where we have to go to see this guy. Oh, okay, so they're all, oh, these ones are all, they're all half price. I get it. Thank you. Well, how do I use my new abilities? There it is. Let's just throw it up here, or maybe, yeah, let's do the smash on the bee. 
<laughs> Let's flip and go. Um, I guess we're gonna head down here. I thought that would be the smarter choice, though. What's this? Looks like an energy shrine of some sort. There's so many abilities. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, hey, it's the bamboo poles that you can balance on from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I don't know what they're actually called. Oh, hey, a swingity swing, you say. That's so cool. It's so smooth, too. Okay, I guess we're gonna wanna go this way. We got a bouncy pad. Oh, that those are a lot stronger than they were in the last game. Right into the spikes. Um, I don't know where we're going. Ranged attack would have been good for over there, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about it too much. I guess we're loading new areas. Is that why it always lags when we go to new places like this? That looks like we can jump into the spikes. Hmm. I'm gonna try this, but I'm gonna... Okay, that, yeah, that did not work. <laughs> I thought I'd try it anyway. We can't go into the water. But there's stuff down here. Let me get to the power. <laughs> Is that an energy cell up to the top left? That little blue orb? Oh, okay, that one packs a little bit of a punch, I see. Appreciate it. Oh, hey, it's more Moki. We Moki saw where the little owl fell near the home we left behind. Silent woods, scary woods. Uh, Spookage? <gasps> it's Koo! Do we get to play as Koo now? Is this like a Ratchet and Clank kind of adventure where we play as Ratchet and we play as Clank until they get together and then they become Ratchet and Clank? So it'll become Koo and, and uh, Ori, or Ori and Koo? Kolok is kind, Kolok can help. I cannot pronounce the names. Why is the audio so staticky? Whoa. Hey, there's that bird guy up there, unless it's a different one. A different bird guy. This looks like it's a uh, head of a turtle. Hey, it's Tuck. That's what his name is. The gaze of the great Korak emits only the worthy. Or so the legend says. Of course, this isn't Kolok. This is just a statue. Huh? <laughs> Why do I have to pronounce it like huh? every single time? We'll never know. Come to think of it, it doesn't have any eyes either. How is it supposed to gaze at anything? Some legend. Blah. Blah. Okay, so you're just here to, to talk to me. We got a lever lever. Oh, and we drain the dark eco from this area. Thank you. Oh, we can now go into this part here, which is probably how we get to this new light ability. Hello. Give me some new powers. Spirit arc. Oh, I said bow and arrow. I said it. And so now I can use this and then launch it. Oh, I knew those would be helpful for something. Oh, geez. Where am I? Oh, hey, an energy cell fragment. Thank you. So we want to be over here and just do that. Oh, hey, it like heat seeks too. Or not really heat seeking. It kind of just shows us when we're aiming at it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um... Up here. Dude, the tutorials are just as good as the last game. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh sh Oh, 
There we go. What's this? This is a new thing. Eye stone. This curious eye-shaped gem would fit nicely into a stone eye socket. Is that what that thing was before that we saw? That little circular statue? When there was like three little circles? I feel like that could be what it's related to. Okay, this does not do as much damage to enemies as I thought it would. Oh, that's what it wants us to do. It wants us to go on here, spin around this, jump up, and then shoot as we're spinning. <laughs> what? Ha! Huh. Sniped it. Dude, this game is incredible. All of them, they're just... Ugh. How did they improve on the stuff from the last game? I didn't think it was possible. Like, I knew that there might have been something, maybe, that they could have done, but holy moly, this is incredible. And I'm dead. Okay, so now I believe we're going to head on back this way. Might be able to access some more stuff now. Now that we have the ability to both smash the ground and shoot at blue orbs. Uh, we did also see that thing. Yeah, this one right here. This is what I was thinking it would be related to. Maybe not though? Who knows what that's related to then? Okay, so I know this is definitely wrong because we can't go this way here and we can't smash through this log right here, but I was thinking if we go all the way back, we can smash through this now and this here, which will give us access to this thing. So maybe, maybe a little bit of backtracking, but I don't think the game would make you backtrack that far. Whee! So let me just, uh, Smash through that real quick. Thank you. Oh, it's another ore. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> obviously not what we're looking for, but I'll take it right now because we're going to need it eventually and then we'll have them. Oh, right here. This is what we want to try and smash through. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's laying over here? Uh, a combat shrine. Wait, is this what we wanted? Or is this something else? No, this is gonna be like a combat trial. Okay, well, this will probably lead to something good. Let's hope. I might need to change my, uh, my triangle ability here. Or Y ability, as it's saying on the game. Would probably be nice to have like a little bit of HP if I could. Uh, oh yeah, we can just change it here because it pauses, cool. Thank you. Oh, my nose is itchy. This is the worst time for my nose to be itchy. Okay, there we go. Phase one complete again. Each time we finish a phase, it will light up one of these stones. So that's how I will keep track if I happen to die. This hammer ability is so good. <laughs> Takes these guys out so quickly. And it doesn't use any energy, so I definitely made the right choice by going with this one. Ow. Another upgrade, thank you. Let's heal up a little bit, actually. Okay, we got a lot of mini mosquitoes. Ooh, this is a one hit? Ho ho ho, let's go. I just gotta time it right. All these little mosquito dudes. Oh, please. Okay, we gotta heal up, we gotta heal up. Thank you. Come here, you. A Little bit more energy so we can heal up a little bit more. I should've probably tried to heal up at the end there when there was one guy left. Okay, get rid of him. Ow, ow. This guy hurts a lot. Ow, ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm just trying to heal up, leave me alone. All right, we are back here again with uh, these two little guys and then we should have, yeah, there's our little fun friend. Oh, geez. 
Let me just time this a little bit better. There we go. And slam. Wait, that's not what I want to do. Please, please. Ugh. There we go. Oh, he was the final one. Ooh, what's this? Shard slot upgrade. You can now equip more shards at once. <gasps> oh, that's so good. That was worth it then. So if we go into our our menu, if I can figure out how to get there. Yeah, we now have four that we can put on. Okay. I think for now we're just going to leave it with our three that we have. And then when we get some more abilities, we'll use them later on. Oh, we can break through here now too. Oh, that was a good test on that. I wanted to see maybe we were we'd be able to do it, but um, that's cool. All right, now we can open up all those side passages that I've seen before too. <laughs> let's go. Let's hope there's something good over here then. All the secrets. I love this ability so much. It was so good. So worth it. Worth every 400 little bitty that we spent on it. Okay, if we go back that way, that will bring us back around. So I'm assuming what we want is over here. <gasps> it's a life cell. Dun, 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 dun. Our HP has been increased to four. Let's go. Oh, we can break through here now too. Oh, another life cell fragment. It was hidden, but we got it. All right, with my newfound knowledge, I might be able to make it through this. No, I can't. Maybe we go back and talk to uh, Mr. Talk. Maybe he knows the answer. Now that we have two more uh, of those eye hole pieces. <gasps> we put the two little eye stones that we got into that statue that had no eyes. And he's like, oh, it has no eyes. I don't know how it can see. It makes sense now. I'm a potato. Oh, well, we did a few side quests, and uh, it definitely paid off. See, they never expect you to go all the way back. They don't ever expect you to backtrack that far unless you want to get some bonus stuff. There we go. Spoopy. It's a turtle mouth. It's so spooky looking. <laughs> Let's go, my dudes. This is so good. Ooh. Call it hollow? Oh, hello. Twillin? Twi Twillin. Twillin? Uh, oh, you sound so creepy. Ew. The glowing stranger my customers speak with such. Ah. Tell me, is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? I have met many curiosities on my travels, after all. Oh yes, some fall, some fly, some prowl, and some slither. But all are customers, you see. Just customers who want spirit shards. What? Uh, view upgrades, view shards, view upgrades. Oh, this is how we upgrade the current ones we have. So we can spend money and get take even less damage, which seems really good in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, skip fast. Blah, blah, blah. Shards lie. Yes. Dank. He said something about being dank. Oh, we can buy some new shards, too. This is so exciting. This guy's so creepy, but, like, look at him. He's got his little his little trench coat of leaves, and he's got all these shards inside. Um, Gain additional energy cell. I mean... What? <laughs> um, additional life cell, also very good. Deal bonus damage to flying enemies, also very helpful. 10% chance to deal 50% bonus damage. Swap maximum life and energy. What? Um, reduces the cost of 50%. Increase damage taken by 100. Wait, what? These are so cool. Uh, I kind of want to do the one that deals more damage to the flying enemies because they are a pain in the butt every single time I come across them. And we have enough uh, in here. 
Yeah, we have one extra slot now that we have a use for. <laughs> Perfect. It all comes full circle. Okay, we'll see you later, creepy dude. And we have crushing stones in this game. Uh, okay. Oh, right. I forgot I changed this from my, my little arrow, bow and arrow ability. Uh, okay, so shooting that up there, not useful to us right now. You a spirit, yes? I have seen your ghost. No, it is true. There is a place where the ghost spirits run and play. I tried to race them once, but I am not so fast. Oh no, we have races in this? The spirit trials, oh, time trials. We haven't done time trials since the Crash Bandicoot days. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure I've learned something from Crash to be able to be good enough to do time trials in this game, right? Maybe? I love these uh, chameleon switches. They're great. Drain that dark eco. Get that dark eco out of here. The music change is all creepy, but it's still so good. Uh, how do you want me to get up here? Do you want me to go up to this point up here? I wonder if it wants me up there yet. Maybe not. Uh, okay. That's going into the water. Do you want me to jump over here? This this seems dangerous. Maybe what you want me to do is, can I deactivate you? Oh, well, today we learned. Ow. We're okay. That audio, if I end up just muting it, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm gonna do to fix it, but it gets all laggy for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, it's all staticky. Ah, why is it all staticky? Okay, so we wanna get this up here. Um, oh, that's cool. And then that will give us a rock to play with. Okay, I'm just gonna continue this way. Oh, look at that spooky door. And that opens up the spooky door, okay. Oh geez, this audio is so bad for this area. All right, now we're going to take our newly found rock. Uh, I guess push it this way. So we turn off this guy. Then we have this one come out. Then we can pull the rock onto here. And then we do this. And then we can push the rock onto his tongue. And then we get rid of this one. Because we no longer need it. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, a little bit trickier than the last game, but I love it. I do love it a lot. Because I eventually figured it out. Ah, yes, we know, we know. Ooh, look at this fancy water over here. Oh, shoot. Not this water. There we go. And now we can jump over here and grab this lever lever. Drain all the dark eco from the forest. And move on forward. Um, okay, there's another lever up there. There's more that way. Is this what you want me to do, game? There we go. Holy moly, that took me way too long to figure out how to do. Uh, grab. Ooh. Alright, I know I can get up there because I tried to get through that way at one point. 
Oh, hello, friends. Oh, hey. I'm not used to talking. <laughs> okay, we have made it. We have made it through. We have done all the things there. Yes. Are we trying to get out now? Now I've activated all of the stuff and tings over here. Are you letting me out? Oh, wait, we can go down here now. And we can smash through this, because we know that from before. Oh, another energy cell fragment. Let's flip and go. I'll take it. Now we're in a new area, okay. Yeah, this is a completely new section. More spooky mosquito creatures. You want me to go this way? Ow, that's death. Okay, you don't want me to go that way anyway because there's not enough, or there's a door in the way. So we go this way. Oh, it's our map friend. Uh oh, hello. Uh, I already forgot your name, and that's a common thing. I'll remember your face though forever. I just will always forget your name. Um, I guess we're gonna head down though because I can't actually get to you right now. Yeah, there's no way of getting up to you. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit, Matt friend. There's an ability cell up here. We can launch ourselves off that guy after he drops. When we get that ability to launch ourselves. Ow, 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 death, death, death. Uh, another one of these doors that requires a button push. Ooh, what's this? Activate pedestal? Is this a save point? Spirit trial reward. Oh, that's what those are. They're spirit trial. Find the start. It's pedestal to begin the challenge. Oh, okay. So we've unlocked the time trials. That's cool. And what's over here? Ow. Okay. Yeah. yeah I remember you. But we didn't have this ability last time. Grab you. Okay, so it's not always a button. It can be a lever lever, it looks like, as well. Hello? Anyone hanging out over here? Ooh, a new ability! Is it gonna be a dash? Oh, please be a dash. I've missed the dash so much for, like, running backwards through parts. I'm like, oh, I need the dash here. Oh, sweet. And it is the dash. Let's go. I've been trying to use it so much and we can't even do it. Um, we don't even have like the air dash yet, but that's okay. The regular dash is still good enough. Oh, it's got a little bit of an upgrade. It's got a little roll to it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to leave today's episode. So I want to thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>